Hi everybody, uh, this is the last tutorial of the series and uh, here we will talk about another concentration term, parts per billion. Actually, parts per billion is a very uh, small quantity of solute and it is normally expressed for the trace concentrations of uh, solutes in the solutions. And in order to understand this very concept, uh, we must understand different units of mass as well as different units of volume which are corresponding to these uh, mass units. So we have kilogram, 1000 gram, and the lower unit is gram, and kilogram and gram are related with each other with a factor of 1000. That 1 kilogram equals 1000 gram. In the same way, gram is related to milligram with a factor of 1000 that 1000 milligrams equals 1 gram. We are having these descending units with the multiplication factor of 1000. And smaller unit than milligram is microgram and then we have a multiplication factor of 1000 and so on. So here, if we see parts per billion, then we can say that we have mass of solution in kilograms, then micrograms of solute per kilogram of solution, microgram per kilogram will be referred to as 1 parts per billion weight by weight concentration. Why? Because microgram to milligram 1000, milligram to gram 1000, gram to kilogram 1000, so collectively it becomes 10 raised to power 9, 1 billion. So, we can say that 1 microgram is the billionth part of 1 kilogram. So, if the concentration of solute is in microgram and solution mass is in kilogram, then the number of micrograms per kilogram of solution will be the number of parts per billion in that solution. And uh, this concentration is related with weight by weight concentration. So if we talk about weight by volume concentration, that parts per billion weight by volume, then we need to uh, consider that one kilogram of water measures one liter if the density is considered one. And then we have these units which are interrelated exactly like the mass units that 1000 ml make 1 liter and 1000 micrometers make 1 milliliter and 1000 nanoliters make 1 microliter. These are related with a factor of 1000. So, because we are talking about weight by volume concentration here, so we can say as kilograms are equivalent to milliliters if the density of water is taken 1, then if microgram per kilogram is parts per billion weight by weight, then microgram per liter microgram of solute per liter of solution will be referred to as parts per billion in terms of weight by volume. So this is how they are related. That microgram of solute per liter of solution is actually parts per billion. 
or you can also say that nanogram of solute per ml of solution nanogram of solute per ml of solution will also be referred to as parts per billion weight by volume so if we have a solution with say for example 20 micrograms per liter then it will be equal to 20 parts per billion solution because microliter sorry microgram per liter is parts per billion the formulas which are used to uh, calculate parts per billion concentrations are like this that PPB weight by weight equals mass of solute divided by mass of solution multiplied by 10 raised to power 9 and the important point is that the units of mass of solute as well as units of mass of solution must be same for example if you are taking mass in micrograms here it must be in micrograms here let's say you have 2 microgram of zinc present in 20 gram of solution maybe an amalgam or any solution so in order to calculate parts per billion we need mass of solute which is 2 microgram so it is 2 into 10 raised to power minus 6 grams because microgram is 10 raised to power minus 6 gram and 20 gram of solution into 10 raised to power 9 so we are getting 2 by 20 into 10 raised to power 3 or it is equal to 0.1 into 10 raised to power 3 or it is equal to 100 parts per billion so this is how uh, it is uh, calculated we want to calculate parts per billion weight by volume uh, then we must have mass of solute divided by volume of solution into 10 raised to power 9 and the point to be remembered here is if the mass is taken in grams then the volume in the denominator must be in ml or if the mass is in milligram then the volume in the denominator must be in microliter and similarly if the mass is in microgram the volume should be in nanometer that's how you can get the accurate uh, calculations of parts per billion uh, weight by volume uh, let's see an example here we have 20 nanogram of sodium ions in 200 ml so 20 nanograms we can say that 20 nanograms equal 20 into 10 raised to power minus 9 gram this is the mass of solute and the volume of solution is 200 ml so we have gram here and we have ml here gram and ml and then we will apply this right formula mass of solute is PPB weight by volume equals 20 into 10 raised to power minus 9 divided by 200 multiplied by 10 raised to power 9 so this is going to be cancelled and we are getting 1 over 10 or 0 0.1 parts per billion concentration here so this is important point here the concentration 
uh, in parts per billion weight by volume can only be computed if you are using these equivalent mass and volume units. We can also interconvert parts per billion weight by weight and weight by volume. For example, if you have weight by weight parts per billion concentration, you can multiply this with density to get parts per billion weight by volume concentration. So it's exactly like the interconversion of uh, percentage weight by weight and weight by volume. I hope these tutorials have uh, improved uh, your skills of calculation, concentration terms, their interconversion, making uh, solutions and doing dilutions. So stay tuned for our uh, next lectures. Thank you.